a mass shooting occurred in Sutherland Springs, a small South Texas town on Sunday, November 5th. Investigators say that gunman Devin Patrick Kelly, in an effort to kill his mother-in-law, emptied 15 magazines into the First Baptist Church of Sutherland Springs. Freeman Martin, Texas Department of Public Safety Regional Director, said that there is a domestic dispute within the family. This, along with an unreported bad conduct discharge from the U.S. Air Force that allowed Kelly to purchase his gun, are the only clues as to the reasoning for his actions on November 5th. Stephen Williford, who lives 250 feet from the First Baptist Church, heard the gunshots from his house. He grabbed his rifle and ammunition and ran barefoot toward the church. After exchanging gunfire, Kelly climbed into his Ford Explorer and took off. Williford approached Johnny Langendorf, who was headed to his girlfriend's house at the time, and explained what had happened. Williford got inside Langendorf's truck and began the 95-mile-an-hour pursuit of Kelly on Interstate 539. After 12 minutes, Kelly crashed and took his own life. In a press conference the next day on November 6th, Martin said the autopsy showed that Kelly had three gunshot wounds. Williford shot Kelly once in his leg and once in his torso. The third was self-inflicted. A candlelight vigil was held on the night of the shooting at a U.S. Postal Service office across the street from the church. The next day, a prayer vigil took place at a local baseball field on 6th Street. Laura Morales, a resident of Sutherland Springs, attended the prayer vigil with her two daughters. While her family wasn't related to any of the victims, a lot of her friends were hit by the gunfire. Also in attendance of the prayer vigil was Billy Graham's rapid response team, there to offer emotional support for all of those affected by the shooting.